Matt Murphy here with Dave Cohn. And some of the things we've been chatting about recently are things to help people become more productive. Now, many people, including you and I, have been typing in commands for years. But Autodesk has added something new to AutoCAD to help people who still type in features. They have. You know, many longtime AutoCAD users have found that it's easier to start commands by typing. But there's a lot of commands and system variables in AutoCAD, and we can't always remember the names of those commands. AutoCAD now has a feature called Autocomplete. So as you start typing, either at the command line or if you've got dynamic entry turned on right at the cursor, as you type, AutoCAD will offer the commands and the system variables right there on screen. And as soon as you see the one you want, you can select it and start the command. Now, I'm assuming there's some additional settings for this. Do you want to show us how it works? Sure. Let's take a look. Many longtime AutoCAD users find that it's often faster to start commands by typing. When you type in the command window, AutoCAD automatically completes the entry with an AutoCAD command or command alias. For example, if I type the letter L, notice that AutoCAD displays a list of all of the commands that start with that letter. As I type more letters, the list gets filtered to show just those commands that match what I've typed. I can start the command at any time by selecting it from the list. If I right-click, a shortcut menu appears that provides tools to control this autocomplete functionality. Notice also that in the command window, the command line appears with a white background while the command history is distinguished from the active command line with a gray background color. You can modify the various colors associated with the command window using the color tools accessible from the display tab of the options dialog. 